Hello YouTube land, my name is Castlecated and today we're playing some Path of Exile. We're trying out a new work in progress build of my own undoing and uh, so far it's seemingly pretty good. It's an ES occultist, which by the way did get nerfed, but still does feel pretty damn good. It is a uh, self-cast Frostbolt Ice Nova. It's using a bow and uh, you basically stack levels on it, try to get as much ice and everything, cast speed multipliers or critical multipliers, everything you can. Uh, this this already has a plus one from the item and plus five from support. Now this will go even higher once I got that to a level four. I haven't uh, actually had enough time to actually make the currency to actually do this. Uh, I kind of slapped this together. The main thing that was crafted for this was in fact the bow. Everything else, like even this, was from a previous build, my Bane ED build, which uh, went pretty well. I haven't even fully six linked this, although I don't really feel the need to because this is just the Frostbolt itself. Um, a lot of this equipment can get a lot better. I mean, this only has 117 shield, this only has 152 shield, and I decided to use a bow, so I'm utilizing the soul strike and utilizing a couple passives on the tree. I also quickly just slapped this ring together. Um, it was nice because I started off as a level 12 Assassin's Mark on hit with lightning damage. I did regal it, and I got, the unfortunately, the uh, hybrid. So increased uh, global accuracy rating, which is useless to me, but I also got some light radius out of it, and I just slapped on mana regen because... If anything, I will say that the mana regen is pretty bad with this. It's a uh, level, or sorry, it's 92 per Ice Nova, 49 per Frost Belt, but we are mana leeching at least, so there's that. But that's pretty much all I can say about that. It does pretty damn well in uh, high level maps. I I think it shines more or less in mid to low tier maps because then what you could do is you can actually grab things like this, increased area of effect, or actually alternatively you can uh, do consecrated or concentrated uh, effect for this and it works great as well um, i'm currently just leveling up one of my new ones and uh yeah so i'll just quickly go over what to expect of this build and basically what you'd expect with mapping like it, this is pretty easy and uh pretty satisfying to watch i'll say that sorry i i just i had to click on something there we go so once we get to an actual legion, you'll be able to see what I can do with it, and it's actually quite nice. And if you haven't actually been able to see it in action, I will say this, you can pretty much one-shot all of legion with your Vol Ice Nova. So what I'm actually basically looking for is just a Vol Ice, or sorry, just a legion. Uh, this is a little bit of an awkward spot, so we'll not get everything. In big open maps, it will in fact get everything. So an Iceberg, for example, at the very beginning, you will literally pop the whole entire legion, and you're good with that. Um, this popped, actually it popped everything on that end. Looks like there's a general over here, so I'm just gonna quickly go explore this. I don't know what side the general was on, so that's okay. I popped my volley snub again. The charges on it are actually quite fast, and I do love the new notifications, by the way, for uh, where the generals are. It's just I didn't notice it until the very end. Unfortunately, I'm a little distracted by talking, and I do apologize for that. But yeah, this build... Like, even if you were to just do self-cast by that self, like Ice Nova, it's pretty powerful, but the fact that you can actually chain these and it goes through as many times as you want, it is so much better. And I love the interaction ever since they came out with it, and I've basically been trying to utilize it in pretty much every single league that I've had a chance to. It's fun. Ooh. I don't think so. Sorry, I just wanted to leech that back, so. Is there anything over there? Nope. So, admittedly, this build does have a couple of weaknesses. Uh, because it does use Soul Thirst, it can't leech very well. What I'm planning on doing is actually, in the next couple of bit, like levels, I plan on, again, increasing my power charge amount. And I'll show you why in a second again. Um, so we got this jewel right here. It's a Militant Faith Timeless Jewel. And what it does to this node, for example, actually what it does to pretty much any node, uh, sorry, I'm just getting rid of that. What it does is it turns this node into inner conviction, 3% more spell damage per power charge, gain power charges instead of frenzy charges. So I mean, I could literally just keep maxing out on power charges and I just gain that much more. Right now I'm only at a 5, I plan on going to about 8, which will be great for me. Boop. Freeze affects me not. Um, but yeah, this is a very fun and powerful build. Now, is it stronger than the Life Variant using Eclipse Staff? That's debatable. Um, I like the fact that I can utilize Chevron's Wrap to get extra, like, curses and or literally any extra everything. So I'm having, like, Zealotry 
on the, my life, I also have Discipline to boost up Shield, I also have, you know, Herald of Ice, I also have Clarity, and everything working together, and Precision. So everything working together is actually kind of nice, um, admittedly. Uh, yeah, sure, let's just do this really quickly. I'm not even going to bother swapping back to my other thing. Like, right now is using Increase Area of Effect, which obviously does not give me that good... Uh, damage. I can switch into concentrated effect or concentrated effect as well as increased uh, critical, either or, and it would do a lot more damage. But as you can see, I didn't really run into too many issues other than me just having a bad position or just not really paying attention because I was just talking. Overall, though, I'd say that this is actually a pretty fun build. Um, would I recommend, let's say, again, the ES version over life based? Probably not. Um, it's still powerful. Uh, between the two, between a staff and this, this would have a higher end game damage, like consistent higher end game damage, unless you focus on things like actual like focus, like the betrayal focus, right? Um, beyond that, I'd say that this does do more damage. I, I It will get to a point where it actually does a lot more damage, but uh, at the moment, I just haven't had a chance to actually level up. Um, what I'm going to be doing is actually going to be doing that for the next couple of days, and it will definitely be feeling a lot better. I'll see if I can maybe even do like a Red Elder slash even maybe Uber Elder video with this once I have a chance. Um, I do believe that this can actually do it. You just have to watch your positioning, and that's kind of difficult while recording and slash streaming, but I'll give it a try, and we'll see how we go from there. Again, this is a really fun build, and is really strong. You should see it in like a Tier 3. Um, let's see, do I actually even have any... I have one glacier, so I can quickly just go over what will happen in a glacier map. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop a bunch of this in here just so, you know. I actually took my glacier, didn't I? No, my glacier is right here. Yeah. So let me just uh, quickly showcase a glacier using increased area of effect. Basically what you can do, and FYI, I would probably recommend, if you actually went to the point where you did get your Uber Elder done, to... I'd even say focus on Glacier for farm. It is amazing. Uh, primarily because Legion always spawns at the top, or like right here at the entrance pretty much. And the best part about that is it's a nice open area, so you can just one pop. <laughs> you probably noticed that little slowdown lag. I pretty much got mostly everything, which is actually kind of unfortunate because it means that I can't ball again. I need more mana. Uh, I'll be able to right now, at least. So I just go here and just re -evolve. And looks like there are some generals, or sorry, not generals, sorry, some lieutenants that have that uh, sword swiping ability, which can do a lot of damage to you if you're not careful. But as this is only a tier, like, 2, 3, uh, I don't really have to worry about it all that much. Uh, I actually preemptively evolved there accidentally. But... There was no spot in that where I felt like I was in any danger. It just takes a little bit of positioning, it takes a little bit of getting used to. I'm still playing very aggressive on this, but it's still a really fun build. And I mean, the fact that Legion spawns a Glacier at the beginning every single time is pretty powerful. Anyways, you got to see what this build is like. It can get a lot better. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you have any suggestions for this channel, like I know that I got a little bit of flack for the auto bomber uh, prior to 3.7, but the shield charge changed wasn't announced yet. So I was like, oh, this is just going to be fun. Just to do like a little MF auto bomber build. But um, obviously that changed. So now it uses like rippling thoughts instead of uh, the Cosprey's malice. So obviously there's some things that I might need to change in the future. However, Feel free to leave suggestions down below in the comments, and I will reply to every single one of them. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, leave a like on the video, and don't forget the most important part, have fun.